How a Project's Location Impacts Applicable Building Codes. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we explore how a project's geography, such as proximity to open water, impacts its applicable wind loads as outlined in the International Building Code. So first of all, when we're starting a project, it's important that the first thing we do is evaluate if we're in an area that's going to require impact protection. So we're going to start with IBC or International Business Code. So IBC section 26 describes where and when impact protection is required. And IBC goes on to say that if your project is located within a mile of the mean high water line and the base wind speed is equal to or greater than 130 miles per hour, then the project needs impact testing. And it goes on to say that if it's in, a, in an area where the wind speed is 140 or greater, is also going to need impact testing. So the two ways to consider it is one, if you're within a mile of the mean high water mark and the wind speed is 130 or greater, you have to be impacted or anywhere regardless where you're located. If the wind speed is 140 miles an hour or greater, you'll need to have impact. So we'll see some examples of that in just a moment. But let me start with talking about mean high water line. So with mean high water mark is a, point at which you measure one mile inward. This is the point between the mean low water line and the average high. So along the coast, the, the water has a tide. There's a high tide and a low tide. So the mean high water mark is a point in between those two. And if you have any questions about where exactly that is, I'd encourage you to contact local authorities and have them confirm exactly where that is. So we're going to use terms talking now moving for, forward of impact and windborne debris. And these are kind of interchangeable. They mean the same thing. But again, starting with this mean high water mark, you're going to measure one mile inward. And that's important because if you're within that one mile from the coast and the wind speed is 130 or greater, then you need to have impact tested products. Now, it's not just the coast you're looking about. This has also been applied to large inland lakes like uh, Okeechobee and Pontchartrain. IBC, International Visions Code, references ASCE 7, the Associated Wind Speed Maps. Here you can see an example of one of these. You'll need to confirm the project location and the appropriate wind speed. If you are in a high velocity hurricane zone, IBC then refers you to ASCE 7 for establishing the correct wind speed. It also references testing standards that follow that, such as ASTM E1886 and E1996 for large and small missile impact. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.